We're here at the Claremont Club, located on 19 acres in beautiful Claremont, California. Mike Alpert came over one day and had a talk with my dad and I and gave us his image and his idea of how Claremont and the Claremont Club wanted to give back. And one of the ways they wanted to give back was to open an SCI studio here at the Claremont Club. Uh, we started out with a very small area. We actually converted a, a racquetball court uh, to be able to bring equipment in and service uh, spinal cord injury patients. I think this is a population that uh, uh, throughout our country doesn't get a lot of uh, necessarily a lot of financial support. Uh, after many of these patients get out of acute and phase one care, uh, they're on their own. I hope that the club has brought something to our spinal cord injury clients by giving them a home away from home. If they live in this area, this is where they need to be coming. If they're interested at least in getting back as much mobility as they possibly can, uh, up into including you know, walking. If I were to meet somebody out on the street that was wondering about the program here, I would have nothing to say but awesome results and awesome uh, participation in a program that I see as working. I come in here now and, and I can feel like I'm helping myself with the help from everyone here and I'm getting much stronger and just my days go by better after being here. All the SEI clients are just unbelievable. They come in and work super hard. I see physical differences and them being more flexible, having more range of motion, more coordination, more balance. But I also see um, a hope, a joy, and a happiness that um, that they didn't come in with. They they work hard, but they still have fun, and um, it's just a great atmosphere to be in. It's just very positive and um, encouraging. You know the things that we've learned in Project Walk and going through this is you know just realizing that you know the body just needs to move. When I came into the program as a newer instructor, I underestimated. Um, all of their abilities. These people are very strong and very able in many ways um, that we don't give them credit for. Just because somebody is in a wheelchair doesn't mean that they're broken or that I'm gonna hurt them or that they're fragile. Um, of course they have limitations and certain things that we should watch out for, but they're very capable and they want to be challenged. The changes that I'm able to see in the spinal cord injury clients are enormous from month to month because when you are starting from a very low level, the, the, the rate of development is, is much more dramatic. I've noticed that I've gotten stronger since I've been here. My balance is getting better. I was extremely weak. I couldn't, barely, I couldn't do anything on my own. Before, I couldn't move my arm. Now I can uh, move them. And I couldn't like transfer. Now I can transfer. Everything we work on, helps me to do things in my everyday life. There's an energy in them and um, just kind of like a, you know, it's like a positive force and there's always constant improvement. You know, it might be just little things, but those little things are huge. We all look forward to when Stephanie from Casa Kalina comes to the club and trains us. We look forward to the opportunities to go down to Project Walk and learn more about spinal cord injury clients. I think it's really a really critical program uh, that we have going on at the Claremont Club in conjunction with Casa Kalina because in general these services are very limited. Uh, there are very few programs even in Southern California or across the nation that address uh, this type of uh, uh, client in their rehabilitation. My insurance doesn't support me in any way when it comes to stuff like this. So I would be totally without any kind of exercise or therapy if it wasn't for Be Perfect in the Claremont Club. Care that would not be accessible to me previously because of financial burdens, um, I don't have to worry about. So I get the care that I need um, regardless of my ability to pay. The people that haven't had a chance to be in this program is they're at home. They're more isolated and maybe not as, as hopeful. I know that by them getting this treatment and by really just coming here and, and working out, they feel better and they're living better. 
if the SI, FCI clients weren't coming here, uh, I, I would be seeing them uh, in a much more deconditioned state. I, I think if programs like this were not available, I think um, there would definitely be a negative effect on the clients that we serve. They would have uh, less opportunity, really, um, to progress themselves with health and wellness. I think they'd be at home more. Um, really being in a more sedentary lifestyle. I think we would see more secondary complications related to spinal cord injury. More health care dollars being spent is the bottom line. More visits to the physician. Um, you know, I've had patients in the past where they haven't had these types of resources available and the only time they get out of the house is when an ambulance comes to their house. And maybe that's their mode of transportation because they have nothing else. So they only leave when there's a medical emergency. Um, they're very isolated from others. They don't get out and interact with their peers anymore. And all of those things really just add up to um, not as good a quality of life or not what these people are really looking for. The Spinal Cord Injury Program has brought inspiration to myself personally and to all my trainers. Seeing the efforts that you put into it and, and the improvement, the large improvements, huge improvements, is such a rewarding thing. I want to work harder myself and come up with more creative ways to help them. It just makes you feel good on what difference I can do for uh, different clients. When you see people in a wheelchair, you know, you feel bad. You feel like, gosh, how, how would I feel if I were in their shoes? And um, you want to be able to do something, and not everybody can. So I feel very privileged to be able to help um, in any way. I can say that, that for me personally and for the the trainers, uh, we get a lot more out of the program than what we put into it. Uh, I feel that we're the benefactors of having these people in our club and in our, in our lives. We've outgrown our space and our, our vision for the future is we want to expand it. Uh, we want to have about 3,000 square feet so that we can grow the program and bring in more people. We have people on a waiting list that would like to get in to the program. Every, every person that you work with that is a spinal cord injury, they touch your life and your heart too. And there are tremendous, I think, emotional um, and physical challenges for spinal cord injury people. And so the club's mission was to be able to have a well care environment and an area for them to come to be fit in just like every other member of the club. There is a great need financially for people with this injury. There is a need for people with wheelchairs, there is a need for people with medical supplies, but more importantly, there is a need for people with exercise-based therapy. Our studio here is treating over 15 clients and we're making people's lives better. It's, it's, it's probably the greatest thing I've ever been involved in in my adult life. It's never guaranteed that um, they will get you standing and walking. Just the hope that one day that might be you is enough to keep you moving forward. So that one day, it may not be tomorrow, may not be a year from now, maybe two years from now, you take your first step. That's the day you've been looking forward to.